Righto, tally there champs and welcome to the show. Today I'm going to be having a look at the Acer Switch Alpha 12. Now that's a bit of a mouthful, but this thing here is basically a 12 inch sort of like Surface device. And I think it has two great things going for it. One, very affordable, very competitively priced. And two, it's almost silent. It's water cooled, so that's awesome. Starts at like $600 US. For the i3 model with 4 gigs RAM and 128 gigabyte SSD, that's the model I have here actually. And you can also get an i5, i7, etc. with up to 8 gigs RAM. Now, $600 is not expensive for something that is very high quality and performs very well. I've actually seen them in Australia for under $1,000. But I would recommend you get the i5 8GB model that's around 1200 maybe a little bit more in Australia. Now it's solid, it's premium build here, aluminium exterior, it's 0.6 of an inch thick, 2.7 pounds. And for what you pay, it's actually unbelievable that you get something of this quality. One place where it differs from the, say, the Surface or even the Transformer book is it doesn't have a flap. It actually has sort of like just a stand. So I guess the only downside to having this sort of stand is it's not a uniform thickness and it does stick out, you know, a couple of millimetres more than what, say, the flap does. And it does work very well being able to put it in various different angles there. Of course, it comes with a pen. All these sort of two-in-one hybrid devices do. This one here is more for note-taking and stuff like that. 256 pressure points there. So if you're an artist, you probably want more. But if you're an executive or a student or just want to take notes or even do some quick drawings, yeah, it is good for that sort of thing. On the left hand side you have the power button, volume rocker, windows button. On the right hand side you have the headphone jack, USB 3, USB-C. So that's one thing it has over the surface, having USB-C. And then you have the power jack. Then if you pull back the stand you have a micro SD slot there as well. Of course you would expect the camera on the front and back and the quality is okay. Nothing spectacular there. Now one thing that surprised me with such an affordable device is where are they skimping? What, what compromises are we making here? And there's not really too many. I mean it has a killer screen. The screen is actually really good. 12 inch display, 2160 by 1440 resolution. So it's nice high resolution, very crisp. Viewing angles are great. Contrast is good. All in all it's a good display. So I think you'll be happy with the display. Now the keyboard is actually very solid backlit and it's very stiff which some of these type cover keyboards they're not very stiff they're a bit flimsy this is really solid and stiff the keyboard feels nice and comfortable and it's included in the price so that's great and the trackpad is very usable sometimes it feels a little bit vague the click feels nice if you're coming from a really good trackpad you're going to notice it's not quite to the level of a fantastic trackpad but after using it for a while it's very serviceable the sound coming from the front facing stereo speakers is quite good too so you get that rich multimedia experience viewing your content like a tablet. It is a little bit thick and heavy to be using it as a tablet full time. You will get some fatigue there. So resting it or kicking at the stand is probably the best option. And even though this model here only has an i3 and 4 gigabytes RAM, it's still plenty fast enough for doing pretty much everything you need in terms of productivity, Word, Excel. I would recommend the i5 and the 8 gig model. That just gives you a little bit more room if you want to play some games and do a bit of Photoshop and stuff like that. But it's plenty snappy. We know what this CPU does. The 6100U or the 15 watt Skylake CPUs, they perform very well. And you can play your basic games. Don't expect to be playing AAA titles on this. You won't be able to do it. But it's more than enough power for all your productivity needs. Web surfing, YouTube, it's just got you covered there. No problems. And the great thing about this thing here is it's silent. You never hear the fans kick in at all. It just you can hear a little bit of noise. I don't know what the noise is, but it's water cooled. So it, like, I don't know why no one else is doing this sort of thing. And it really is fantastic. If you've ever used a Surface or even a Transformer book, you'll know that the fan can get a bit annoying. This thing here does not annoy you at all. This water cooling is fantastic. I love it. And I want it on any sort of device like this in the future. Big thumbs up to Acer for doing that. And of course, being water cooled, there is no real heat. So you'll get around five and a half hours battery life. I cannot even find anywhere where it states the battery size there. 
So you have a 45 watt charger and you can charge it through USB-C as well. So the battery life is around the mark there. What can you complain about? Very competitively priced. If you're looking for a two-in-one, definitely have a look at this, especially if you're more budget conscious. I think you'll be happy with it. 15 watt Skylake performance there. A good screen, decent keyboard and trackpad. It's just an all-round great value product. So there you have it the Acer Switch Alpha 12. I'd like to really thank you guys for watching. If you like this review, give me a thumbs up there. If you're new around here, why not subscribe? I've got lots more tech content coming soon. And until next time, guys, tally ho.